Hi guys, um, I'm here with a BMFL uh, wash beam. Uh, this one was sent to me uh, for a tilt problem. It was either the encoder that the guy said uh, or, you know, a feedback error because the um, tilt was moving really odd uh, when they were testing it. Um, I just found out after trying to swap uh, the sensor cards and stuff like that um, that it was a setting in the menu. Uh, so we're just going to take a look at the website. Uh, they have a function that says it's EMS, Electronic Motion Stabilizer for the pan and tilt. Uh, it's for reducing beam deviation caused by truss movement or vibration. So when the truss kind of swings a little, uh, the fixture detects that and it compensates. So it's a really cool feature. But when you're testing the fixture itself before a gig, uh, it can mislead you into thinking that the tilt has a problem. So I'm just going to go in the menu here. Um, it's going to be on the third tab. Try to zoom in on that. Third tab, you have pan settings, but if you take the arrow down, you have pan tilt EMS. I'm going to select that. Now it's in the off position. So I'm just going to test the tilt to show you that it's working perfectly. So I'm just going to leave you guys here. And here we go. So usually people test the tilt like this. They try to move it real fast from one side to the other. And as we can see, it's moving perfectly. Feedback is working also. So everything seems cool. But if the EMS function is activated, so now we're going to go back and we're going to activate it. Pan tilt EMS. We're going to switch it to on. The green check mark. Then I'm going to try the same thing. Because this is a big head. And you can see without forcing it to feedback, you can still make it move a little. So probably that the fixture detects this as a truss movement. So if we try to go fast, See how it goes? So it was sent to me for a tilt problem. But since it's, it's a big head and my testing surface is not really steady, so I think that the fixture detects that as a truss movement and tries to compensate. And in the meantime, you're sending it a tilt command to move the head. So see, it's kind of working against itself. So it could me mislead you into thinking that the tilt has a problem or the sensing circuit has a problem when in fact everything is working perfectly. It's just that the fixture is trying to move against itself because it's trying to compensate with the EMS and you're sending it a movement command. So if you wait until the head stops bouncing, it should work. You know, it did it a little there. So it can be a cool feature on a rig, but I would suggest that when you're testing your fixtures to disable that in the menu. See how it goes there. And if I switch it back to off, the problem doesn't appear so just be very careful when you're uh, testing these just to make sure that it's in the off setting just to make sure that you're not misled so there you go thanks for watching guys